So you wanted to start a beekeeping and looking for information where to start. Let us help you with this and hopefully it will help you in your decision. A hive is a bustling city, home to three types of bees, the queen, the workers, and the drones. The queen, the mother of all bees, has one primary job, to lay eggs. Worker bees who are all females do everything else, from foraging for food, caring for the young, cleaning the hive, to even controlling the hive's temperature. Drones, the only males in the hive have one purpose, to mate with a new queen. Bees also have a unique way of communicating through a series of waggle dances, which essentially are their version of a GPS. They exhibit intriguing behaviors like swarming, a natural process of colony expansion, and meticulous foraging to gather nectar. Understanding these fascinating creatures is the first step to becoming a successful beekeeper. Before you rush out to buy your first hive, there's some groundwork to be done. It's not all honey and beeswax, you see. One crucial aspect that often gets overlooked is understanding and adhering to your local beekeeping regulations. Yes, they exist. And for good reasons too, they help maintain a healthy bee population and ensure harmony between beekeepers and non-beekeepers alike. You wouldn't want your hive to become a neighborhood nuisance, would you? That's where your local beekeeping association or agricultural extension office comes in. These organizations are invaluable resources that can guide you through the regulatory maze. They can help you understand the specifics such as where to place your hive, what inspection requirements you need to meet, and what disease control measures are necessary. So, before you suit up and start your beekeeping adventure, do your homework. Remember, being a good beekeeper also means being a good neighbor and following your local beekeeping guidelines. Beekeeping can be a complex craft, but you don't have to go it alone. Picture this, a seasoned beekeeper with years of experience and wisdom, guiding you through your beekeeping journey, providing you with practical, hands-on guidance. That's the power of mentorship. Mentorship can be the difference between a struggling hive and a thriving one. It's not just about learning the ropes, it's about tapping into generations of knowledge and expertise. Finding a mentor doesn't have to be hard. Local beekeeping associations or clubs often pair newcomers with experienced mentors. And it's not just face-to-face. -face. Online beekeeping forums and resources are a goldmine of information and potential mentorship. Imagine connecting with beekeepers from all corners of the globe, sharing their insights and experiences. Remember, mentorship is more than just advice. It's about support, encouragement, and being part of a wider beekeeping community. With a mentor by your side, you're not just keeping bees, you're joining a community. Location, location, location. Yes, it's as important for bees as it is for real estate. When choosing the perfect hive location, a few key factors come into play. First and foremost, the spot you pick should bask in at least six hours of direct sunlight in the morning. The sun's early rays gently wake the bees, encouraging them to start their day of foraging and hive maintenance. This sunlight also plays a significant role in regulating hive temperature, a crucial aspect of maintaining a healthy bee colony. Next, access to clean water is a must. Bees need water for various reasons, including cooling their hive on hot days and supporting brood development. A clean water source within a reasonable distance encourages bees to stay hydrated without having to venture too far from home. Remember, the easier it is for your bees to access water, the more time they can spend on essential tasks like foraging and looking after the hive. Thirdly, a well-chosen hive location is sheltered, protected from strong winds and harsh weather conditions. Bees, despite their industrious nature, are sensitive creatures. A hive that's exposed to frequent gusts or extreme temperatures can stress the colony, potentially affecting their health and honey production. So, look for a spot that's naturally shielded, perhaps by a hedgerow, a wall, or a gentle slope. Lastly, while bees can coexist peacefully with humans, it's best to keep hives away from busy walkways, patios, or areas where people frequently gather. This minimizes disturbances to the bees and reduces the risk of unfortunate encounters between these tiny creatures and unsuspecting humans. Remember, bees are not just about honey production. They're fascinating creatures that contribute immensely to our environment. By choosing the right hive location, you're not only setting the stage for a successful beekeeping journey, but also creating a supportive space for these little pollinators to thrive. Choose the right spot and your bees will thank you with the sweet reward of honey. Now, with knowledge in hand and passion in heart, 
you're ready to embark on your beekeeping journey. This is your moment to take flight, to join a local beekeeping association, delve deeper into the intricate world of honeybees, or perhaps even set up your first hive. It's a thrilling path filled with learning, discovery, and the sweet taste of honey. Remember, every beekeeper started where you are today, a beginner with a curiosity for these remarkable creatures. Enjoy the journey and happy beekeeping.